So I just thought I'd show you this quickly. This is from the Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. So I've done the CDs and DVDs even though the CDs are sort of on hold until my husband can find where my um, external disk drive is because my laptop doesn't have a CD drive so we need to find that which got lost in the move like everything did uh, before we can get rid of the CDs because obviously the songs that we want to put onto the computer. So now I thought I would share with you the skincare products and the makeup. I'm also going to include nail varnishes in. So I'm going, as you can see, back to like her list. I'm probably going to skip valuables all together because we only have one passport each. We know where our credit cards are, so that seems really pointless. And I'll probably leave the electronical equipment and appliances, most of them, probably until last because like the electrical cords and stuff. Uh, it'll be me and my husband going through them because we both own a lot of electrical items. I think I'm fairly good with mine and he is really, really not. He'll keep everything just in case, so um, that'll be a one we have to go through together. So that'll depend on when he's got time from work. But yeah, we're going to do the skincare products and makeup accessories, as well as nail varnish. So, nail varnish section, excuse the teether that just turned up this morning I haven't had it anywhere to put it yet. The nail varnishes are done. I recently, well, last year I went from having a tan just to having the Zoya because they're five free. I did that whilst I was pregnant. And these are the back of Barry M ones that I've pretty much made myself once I shake them that's a black one that's a silver one as you can probably tell that is an orange one this is a barium base and top coat that I'm using because I haven't been able to um, get one of the Zoya sets yet but yeah I wear all these colors I let go of two to a friend recently um, because they were very glittery I have kept the gold one in the glitter because I will definitely use that at Christmas and I don't mind using it a little bit in the summer but the I do find the glitter ones are really hard to get off so I let the pink and the purple one go. As far as skincare goes I have some toner it's the super drug vitamin E toner and this is the super drug vitamin E cleansing oil that is mostly my face care. I thought I'd very quickly bring you into our bathroom so I have two soaps I have the both by Pacifica. This is the Gardenia one, which is what I use in the autumn and winter when I'm wearing the Gardenia perfume. I'm currently using the Waikiki Pakiki perfume, so I have the soap. Um, the perfume's not smelling as strong as it did last year, so I'm probably going to be changing that when I do. Actually, I might as well just go ahead and get rid of that soap now and just use the Tahitian Gardenia because, or keep it, I mean, for when I use the perfume next. This is mostly my husband's drawer, broken shaver, um, even though he's got a new one. This is my face brush with just the one attachment that I actually use. I got rid of the other ones. This are spare toothbrushes. The two essential oils that I have left at the moment, which is peppermint and patchouli. This is a bath blend that my massage therapist made for me. I'm currently using that. Then into our cupboard. By the way, this is the entirety of our bathroom store showing you in this video. So this side is my husband's so Medicaid shampoo he has from the doctor, the um, shower gel that he's really enjoying using at the moment. So that's a vegan brand. This isn't but that's his shampoo. I have some super drag nail varnish remover and then I have just on this side super drug feminine wash. Um, I'm using the Avalon Organic Shampoo in the Lang Lang. Lang Lang is probably my favourite scent of all time. In the summer I love coconut, so I have the original source coconut and shea butter. Obviously this is vegan, you can see it there. And then my only other face wash is this Pacifica. And it's the Seafoam Complete Face Wash. Once I have finished this, I do love it. Um, but I want to try some oil cleansing, just using oils at all. So I'll probably just be using coconut oil after I've used that all up. In the bathroom we just have one hand wash and it's the antibacterial Bayless and Harding. And the reason we use this is that not testing on animals. So we have that in here. Excuse this, it, as I might have told you before, it's a rented place. 
and we've been begging our landlord to do something about our bathroom because it's disgusting and we've lived here since October and the only thing he's done is someone, the, this was black, was mould when we moved in because of a leak so that's all that's been done even though these are still disgusting anyway back on to this so this is my husband's skincare so his face wash and moisturiser and this is vegetarian and BUAV just so you know so for you men out there bulldog skincare have some antibacterial because I'm slightly obsessed with this now, especially having a little one. Also, I'm allergic to nickel, so taps are really, really bad for me. So if I use hand wash too much, um, I can end up in the hospital. My reactions are so bad, so I use the um, hand sanitizer the most. Got some Hello mouthwash there. Our toothbrushes. This isn't... Um, vegan or anything I've run out of my kingfisher toothpaste and can't find another seller at the moment so I'm just using my husband's unfortunately so my husband's new shaver because he hasn't sorted it out um, feminine products that I need to put them into there this is our daughter's stuff and um, that can actually probably go because I don't like the smell of it very much this is the only lotion this is super drug lotion that was super drug um, soft wash it is really nice it's okay but considering we now have the good bubble cloudberry one who it this is trying to show you vegan and we have the shampoo the body wash and the bubble bath so that's all my daughter stuff um so yeah i need to get him to sort out his and then i've just got one of his deodorants this isn't buav or anything because he's struggling to find one he says that gives good protection, um, like good lasting protection that is cruelty free. So if any of you gents out there that might be watching this, know of one, please let me know. So this is a problem spot for me because I don't really have um, my setup sorted yet. But this is where I keep like other toiletries I suppose. Quick disclaimer, these two came this morning in the post, so this is my gardenia um, Tahitian gardenia perfume is just a rollerball style so it's what I use for like my handbags when I'm wearing it in the autumn and the winter and the reason I've bought that is because it was on special offer for half price and then this is a tiny little sample of the coconut nectar pacifica uh, perfume which I want to try because I love coconut in the summer it's like my go-to fragrance for body wash and everything so I thought it'd be nice to try that um, this I know it can definitely go it's still got I don't know if you can hear still got stuff in it but I don't like the way it makes my hair feel this is super dry, so dry shampoo so it is cruelty free but it leaves my hair feeling disgusting this is the deodorant I'm using at the moment I'm not very impressed even though it's the super drug and the roll on is really good I'm not finding this it, the spray is particularly working so I will use it up because I'm spraying it a few times a day. It's certainly not antiperspirant, that's all I can say. Um, so yeah, I used to love the rock crystal, 100% salt rock, but it dried my skin up and I ended up getting sort of like a rash under my arms, but I had just found out I was pregnant, so it might have been that, so I'm gonna try and go back to that, I think. And then I have my Waikiki Kiki perfume by Pacifica. I don't know if you can really see that. I only bought this at the beginning of March. I haven't got much left so that's why I'm looking for another one. Then I use the vitamin E um, system at the moment. Excuse the cat hair on my um, trousers. I use the vitamin E super drug or the super drug vitamin E I should say system. So just to show everyone there's the leaping bunny. You can probably see it better on that one. So I've got the eye cream which is pretty much out I use a serum and the vitamin E cream I usually use this as a day cream during the winter months during the summer I tend to use this as a night cream I just use the serum mixed with my face um, sunscreen which this is super drug again there's your leaping bunny this is great if 
I find when I mix it with my the serum it's not sticky. I've never used it without so I don't know how it would be but I've never found it greasy or sticky. And then you can already see how much I've used and this is, was only bought in April. This is the transparent sun spray. This is for me, it should be for me and my husband, that's the reason I got the transparent one because it's more of an oil than a cream because he hates creams for some reason. But it's only me using it, he's useless at remembering or even putting it on. He remembers because I tell him. Never mind. I'll also show you our daughter's because she's got the baby one. And I have had some people ask me what I use for our daughter, so I'll show you that in a moment. So other than that, this is not really skincare or anything, but I've just got nail file, tweezers, there's clippers to go in there that my husband was using earlier. And then just some palettes that I use for my nail art. And this is what I used to use for marbling, but I've not done nail marbling for a while, so that can probably go. So yeah, out of all of my skincare-ish type things, I suppose, and I'm even going to say like hair care and stuff, I got rid of the One Pacifica, uh, I was going to say shampoo, it wasn't soap bar, I got rid of the like last third of the baby wash we don't use anymore, I'm getting rid of these two, that's not even really an item. Oh, and the comb, as I said, once again it's not an item, but it does go in there. And I'm leaving this out because me and my husband are going out for a meal tonight with some friends. Excuse me, sneak sneeze there. Um, so I want to try this tonight. So I'm going to leave this out so it's not just like lost in the box, but that's what it's looking like. So just standing it up makes it look a lot better. And this um, plastic box was from Ikea and I think it was a pound. And bless him, he actually just switched it off just because um, he thought I didn't like it but you've probably all heard it by now so I just thought I would include the warning as usual. So these are the products I prefer. These are the super drugs, so the baby sun cream. This is what it looks like. I also just have some after sun. This is what I keep in her. This is the unit that I use to change her on. Then I have the super drug little stars nappy cream. This works brilliantly. We've never had a problem with nappy rash or anything like that. I just have another one of the hand sanitizers. And then at the moment we were given this, it's the Tesco baby powder, but even though it's not BUAV, it does, ooh, when it focuses, if it does, this product was not tested on animals and we fund research into alternatives. So until we've used this up and we've had this since she was born and it's probably about to here now, um, use that up and then I'm going to be getting one of the super drug ones. So really this would be another section, this is hair stuff, but excuse the dodgy cable there it sits in this cabinet actually behind this at the moment so i just thought it'd be easier it does have my hair dryer which i'm keeping this is like a foot file because i can't really reach to do it properly like with the manual ones so my husband is very kind and looks after me shall we say this is a nail buffer but it's for acrylic nails so that can go i don't use straighteners anymore I don't get any makeup to depot. Um, so I'm not sure. I am debating growing my hair again. So I'm on the fence about these. I might keep them for now and see if I do grow my hair. If I haven't grown my hair or started growing my hair by Christmas, I will pass these on. This was a texturizing spray that I made in a DIY. It's been left over from the summer that should be cleaned out now. So technically that's going. This was some um, Lush. Um, solid perfume we got to take away. It is vegan. I'm just trying to check when the oh cat hair all over it. Excuse me, that's disgusting. We only really use this taken away because you can't take obviously liquids. But this hasn't been used since April, and I can't find where, like how long to keep it, so it can go. This a little wooden comb that I absolutely love for taking away with us. Right, I wore this for our wedding. This was for one of my best friend's weddings when I was a bridesmaid. I did love this but I've not worn it since my dad's 60th a couple of years ago so it can go unfortunately. And then these three were made by a cousin for me. Unfortunately I don't wear them. I'm going to keep this for Christmas because it's very cute and I probably will wear that at Christmas but unfortunately as much as I love these I've not worn these in over two years so 
yeah, I'm gonna let these go. And then other than that, I just have two clips that can also go. So I have, oh, one of my trusty sidekicks have come to help me with showing you my makeup collection. My daughter is just in her bed napping. I'm trying to get on the bed. Um, so yeah, Iago has come to help me and she's napping just there. And that's where you can hear her music box. So I first thought I would show you my makeup brushes. Please excuse the state of them. I haven't actually washed them yet. Um, but these, other than that one, and that one. Yep, that's it. These are all Eco Tools. And I do actually use all of these brushes. Um, like the short ones, I might not use day to day, but they always come traveling with me. I should probably actually just put them in a travel kit to save them getting dusty. Hmm, I don't really use that one. So this is going to sound really stupid, I'll ask my husband if he wants it for his moustache. And if not, that one can go. Or maybe the kitty wants it. <laughs> Other than that, I just have two random brushes for my eyebrows. This is a Smashbox one, just because I had it given to me. And I don't even know the rock. It's just a spoolie, just for brushing up my eyebrows. If I could replace this one, I would. It is synthetic bristle, so I'm not that bothered about it. But I don't think Smashbox, the company, is cruelty free, so I'm not too happy about having it, but... And neither's my daughter. But I haven't got anything to replace it. Then I just have some eyelash curls that I got from my local... Oh, what do you call it? Drugstore. This glittery nail file I have, well it's an emery board so I'd never use it, it just looked pretty. I use this pencil for dotting. I have some dotting tools that I use a lot, you'll probably notice that. Another Eco Tools brush that I use for putting glitters on my nails. To push back my cuticles. I think I have a cat toy. A crystal nail file. This is like a buffing block, but I don't really do it much anymore. I don't really have the time. Um, and it's not a cruelty brand, even though it's just foam and buffing pads. So I might just let this go because I literally haven't done this since she was born. Um, I used to use this to tie my hair back, it's just a little velcro but I don't so that can go. Oh it's pretty. There. <laughs> Sorry, I get very easily distracted when my cats are involved. So I've already gone through quite a bit of my makeup at the moment. I have a gold Superdrug liner, a brown Illamasqua one, a red lip liner, this is Barry Barry M, it's my only lip liner, a black eyeliner, like a coal pencil, Superdrug, it's the only one I have, a silver one by Superdrug and a white one, so I only have those. I have two Stargazer um, glitters, these are a cruelty free brand in the UK. I use them for nail art and sometimes my eyes because they are cosmetic glitters. I have this bottle of um, essential oils here, this is an oil blend. <laughs> He's actually just pounced that. This is an oil blend that my massage therapist made, it. I use it, um, I'm going to say in place of switch over to my phone so I got up to saying that this is aromatherapy oil that I use to help manage my fibromyalgia it's what my massage therapist made me um, I did show I'm not sure if the video captured it but my camera as I said moving over it's playing up a bit so these are some liners two are from Superdrug and one is Illamasqua I'm gonna let these go because I literally never oh I'm gonna slip I've not worn these in five months Another thing I'm definitely letting go is this glitter fix because I don't use glitter on my eyes anymore. 
and actually to that point I'm gonna let these go. I'll actually ask a friend if she wants them because she does a lot of nail art too. I should also mention that I do have other glitters that are not cosmetic glitters that are just nail art glitters that I use um, and I've used them a lot more so I will be keeping them. These are my Lime Crime lipsticks so I have Wicked, Red Velvet and Suede Berry. This is my Crazy Rumors Lemonade Lip Balm. It is BUAV and cruelty free as you can might be able to see, the camera's not focusing, there we go. This isn't vegan because of the beeswax, I believe. I'm not sure if it is vegan or not, I don't think it is. But my husband got me this as a pick-me-up um, back when I was due to give birth and it's in a lemonade and my goodness it smells delicious and it really does perk you up. So because I'm vegetarian bordering on vegan rather than full vegan, I think that's absolutely fine. These are my bare essentials, they're not both foundations, this is my foundation. I use Fair, which is C10, which is the palest one they do. And this is their mineral veil, which is like a blotting powder. These are stated on their website as cruelty free. And because they're minerals, I believe they're also vegan. But I don't think they're parent companies, so sort of like the deal with Urban Decay. So I'm just going to let that roll. So in this drawer here, I have a Stargazer liquid eyeliner, which I haven't worn, I don't think, since Christmas. And I used to wear black liquid eyeliner a lot. I just don't have the time now with a little in, so that can, you can probably hear her. Um, so that can go. This is my Pacifica mascara in black. I'm keeping that. It's waterproof. My Barry M concealer in the shade Ivory, I believe. It is the lightest one they do. This is my Urban Decay Mascara. It's the perversion one. It's a sample size. I do like it, but it's actually going because it's been open too long, way too long, so I don't want to put that near my eyes. This isn't open. It is actually shut. This is a Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer. It's in the shade Cherry. I'm trying to do this one-handed without getting it everywhere. So it's a tinted lip balm. And as I said, it's not vegan because it's Burt's Bees, but it's a beautiful colour. I wear this a, this a lot. In the summer, this is like my fourth purchase of it. As I said, I'm vegetarian, not vegan, even though I'm eating more vegan. Don't know if you can see, but this mark here is the BUAV mark, but it's not showing up on camera. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Excuse my nails as well. I need to do them tonight. So I'm going to sit that up there. It doesn't look particularly pretty, but it makes more sense. This is an Airborne lipstick in Rouge Chic, but I've not used it since I've got my Lime Crime, so this can go. So I've just moved these all into this drawer now. I'm leaving my lip balm up there. I'm actually going to see if my essential oils, even though I've only got two at the moment, will fit into these. If so, this is where I'll keep my essential oils from now on because I do want to get more. I've just run out of them. So that's that drawer. Oh, if you're wondering about my containers, which is this one, it actually comes in two parts. And my nail um, stand. These are Perspex. I just got these from Amazon. I also, the nail stand that I have and also the ear, like the cotton bud holder are also the same Perspex and also were from Amazon. So in here, I just have two barium nail art pens, the black and the white. Some nail gems, which... I'm going to be fully honest, I've not used for ages and obviously with a little in that gnaws my fingers it's probably not a good idea so they can actually I'm going to put these over here to the friend that does do nail art. These are great little water transfer stickers. Um, I will keep these because I do like these for, oops, for Halloween even if they're jumping away from me. Actually no I've had them for over two years so they can go So I have two Urban Decay Naked palettes, the Naked 2 and the Naked 3. I do use these a lot and as I said, um, like with the Bare Essentials, they are cruelty free but the parent company is not. So you have to make up your mind about that. Um, I think I'd like to say I'm okay with it, though I probably won't repurchase after, even though I will repurchase my Bare Minerals because I can't find any mineral foundation as good, unfortunately. but. Naked palettes, I probably won't repurchase. 
now into a drawer. I just have a really battered Hello Kitty compact which really needs to be replaced because yeah it's awful. I have one Barry M blush and this is in the shade I have no idea actually. It's like that orange one. Anyway I'm trying to hold this tool. Need a drop shoe. I do apologize. 511. Barry M is cruelty free just so you know. This actually is an Illamasqua eyeshadow. I deposited it. It's in the shade Tango, but I use this for my eyebrows. And it's great. It works perfect. Now these are my two Pacifica palettes. As you can see, I use them quite a lot. This one is the... I don't know. I actually can't remember what they're called, but it's the only two four pack ones they do so I have those and I wear them a lot as you can tell and then I just have this is a magnetic palette I'm not going to open this because these are all depotted so once I open this they're all exposed so these are element actually I might so you can show know the colors so bear me one moment so I'll start down here that are the non Illamask ones this was graphite this is an airborne one this was a um, Stargazer mica that I pressed myself. This was a Creolon, one in 882 I believe. This was a loose powder that I pressed as well. So basically they're two homemade ones really. This is Stargazer white, Stargazer green. I might get rid of this, I haven't decided. Um, this one, this one and this one are Superdrug own brands that have come in Christmas palette, like palettes I've got at Christmas. They have no names and they're pretty much one-offs. Um, so I don't really use, well, I do use them, but I don't know the names. This is from e.l.f. This was in a big book of shadows, and this was the only shade I really liked. <laughs> That's my daughter in the background. So up to the yellow mask, this one is Echo. This one is Courtesan. This red one is Predator. Trollop is the orange one. The blue one is called Dance. Uh, it's a beautiful electric blue. I'm really sorry. And um, the teal one is burst, is what the setup is looking like right now. I have discovered that my essential oils don't fit in. So I'm going to let this go. This was just the top part of my makeup storage.